Hello everybody, my name is Nomad and welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. And today I just wanted to quickly go over what I think has very quickly become one of Moses' best pistols currently in the game, if not the best pistol, and that is the Prompt Critical. But just before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that I stream on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you just join in, jump out and hang out while we work on random builds, do takedowns and just meme around in the game in general, feel free to drop on by. I'll be putting the link to I'll be putting the link to my channel in a pinned comment down below. But in this video, we're just going to quickly go over how to get this gun, what annoyance work best with it, what sort of build you can use with it, and just go over why this gun is as good as I say it is. Um, so yeah, aside from that, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so for the first stop with this video, we're going to go over where to actually get this. And to get this powerful pistol, you're going to have to kill Evil Lilith, who's located out in Castle Crimson, over in Craig's Mind in DLC 4, Psycho Krieg, and the Fantastic Fuster Clock finally said that right the first time um so yeah this pistol has about a 10 percent drop rate and in order to get it you just have to spawn in into cars of crimson more specifically the wall spawn which is about halfway through the map follow the path i'm taking keep going straight up the stairs all the way around make sure you don't fall down the little void in the big hogwarts looking area um so yeah, just slide on all the way up and yeah once you drop um get into the whole stairway area there should be a little jump pad Take that and it's going to bounce you all the way straight to the top and right there you'll trigger a spawn point where you can then farm Evil Lilith. Now all you have to do is just slide down the little ramp through the portal and Evil Lilith is right there ready to be killed to try and get yourself the prompt critical. Now this gun is a pistol and can come in any element so yeah and the best element I would suggest for this especially on most is the radiation element mostly because you can trigger those radiation explosions and I personally like to call them blood explosions and yeah it's just absolutely ridiculous and soon you could be seeing some gameplay on the screen in Maliwan takedown on true scaling and you can see this gun absolutely crushes it. Now the special effect of the prompt critical is that when you stick enemies with its alternate fire mode the stickies compound on top of themselves increasing the damage and splash radius. Now currently as far as I'm aware the bonus damage doesn't quite work at the stickies but the bonus range absolutely does and it is ridiculous and at some points in the gameplay you can see that I am absolutely just wiping out enemies which is just ridiculous and I actually have a build coming out with this gun in mind so stay tuned to the channel for that and if you're not already please consider subscribing as yeah the build's going to be posted soon and you don't want to miss it trust me. Um, so yeah, with this pistol, highly recommend pairing this with a Minesweeper class 1 at the very least, a CMT grenade to make sure you're healing yourself from all the damage that you'll be doing, make sure you don't want to get killed by a hidden splash, the Victory Rush Relic is always the best in slot relic for Moe's, and yeah, the shield can be anything you want, if you're using Radiation Prompt Critical, I highly recommend using a Radiation Old God, just to boost that damage even more, because a little bit of overkill never hurt anyone. But yeah, overall, the legendary effect of this pistol is just ridiculous, and combine that with its really high fire rate in the sticky mode compared to the impact mode, and really high base damage due to it being a times 3 projectile count, synergizes perfectly with the Minds of a Class mod and Moses splash damage skills, and yeah, just overall makes it an incredibly powerful weapon to use on Mose. And yeah, with that, the video is over, nice and quick. Just want to let you guys know about this gun because I've been having an absolute ton of fun with this gun and it is incredibly powerful and I really suggest you guys try it out for yourselves. But aside from that, I hope you guys found the video useful. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!